بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب اینڈ ونس اگین آئی ویلکم یو ٹو مائی ٹوینٹی فرسٹ مارچ ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی آئی ایلس ٹیسٹ ریویو ویڈیو لیٹ می ٹیل یو گائز ایٹ موسٹ آف دا لوکیشنس اسپیشلی ان پاکستان اینڈ سم لوکیشنس ان انڈیا بنگلہ دیش اینڈ ادر کنٹریز دے ہیو ایکچولی کینسلڈ آئی ایلس ٹیسٹ بٹ ایز مائی اسٹوڈنٹس انفارمڈ می ان سم لوکیشنس اسٹل دے آر کنڈکٹنگ آئی ایلس ٹیسٹ سو دس پروڈکشن از گوئنگ ٹو بی فار دوز ہو آر پلاننگ ٹو ٹیک دیئر آئی ایلس آن ٹوینٹی فرسٹ مارچ ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی بیسکلی اٹس اے فل ٹیسٹ ایکیڈیمک ایز ویل ایز جنرل ٹریننگ سو آئی جسٹ گیو یو مائی پروڈکشن اباؤٹ ٹوینٹی فرسٹ مارچ آئی ایلس ٹیسٹ ویر ایور اٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی ہیلتھ آئی میڈ اٹ کوائٹ لیٹ بیکاز آئی وانٹیڈ ٹو سی ویدر دے آر گوئنگ ٹو کنڈکٹ دس ٹیسٹ اور ناٹ سو ان سم لوکیشنس دے آر ایکچولی کنڈکٹنگ اٹ بٹ ان موسٹ آف دا لوکیشنس دے ہیو کینسل دس ٹیسٹ سو گائز لیٹس ٹیک اے اسٹارٹ وتھ لسننگ ایز فریز لسننگ از کنسرن ان لسننگ پارٹ ون دا کوشچن ٹائپ از گوئنگ ٹو بی سینٹینس کمپلیشن اوکے سو جسٹ پریپیئر سینٹینس کمپلیشن وتھ ون ورڈ ون ورڈ اینڈ اور اے نمبر رائٹ اور اٹ کین بی ٹو ورڈس بٹ ان پارٹ ون دے از گوئنگ ٹو بی سینٹینس کمپلیشن اکارڈنگ ٹو مائی پروڈکشن فار آئی ایلس لسننگ پارٹ ٹو There is going to be like a map. I mean, chances are for map. Otherwise, there is going to be another question type where out of five, you have to choose two options. And this is another type of multiple choice questions. For part three, you must focus multiple choice questions where there are three options. And out of three options, you have to select one option. So for part three, you just need to stay alert for that. As far as part four is concerned, I mean, according to my prediction in part four, the question type which is quite uh, important or which is uh, likely, that is one word only and complete sentence completion task. And if it's not a complete sentence completion task, then there can be some questions of matching, but otherwise it's going to be a sentence completion or rather a table completion task. So this is all about IELTS listening. And overall, the level of IELTS listening is not going to be very difficult, not just because of this coronavirus thing. They already have the test. So this is going to be moderate listening test, not very difficult. Those who are planning to get eight band, they can get that, okay? Now, let's move on. This time I'm going to talk about academic reading. As far as academic reading is concerned, let me tell you in academic reading, two passages are going to be of normal difficulty level. One passage, it can be second or it can be third, can be a little beyond moderate level. Uh, it can be tricky. So you need to prepare yourselves for that. The most important question type for academic IELTS reading in section one, that is sentence completion, short answer question, and the third one is true, false, not given. Rather, you know, they start the test with true, false, not given, then there are sentence completion, and then there are uh, short answer questions, right? Along with that, in part two, the most important question type can be matching list of headings, right matching statements uh, multiple choice questions they are very very important and for academic reading part three the important question type is summary completion there can be list of heading in part one two or three right and uh, along with summary completion there can be yes no not given short answer questions matching these questions are important for IELTS reading part three and the passages are going to be as they usually are as I told you one passage can be tricky now let's move on and we talk about writing uh, we talk about gender training reading as far as gender training reading is concerned in gender training reading this time the level of difficulty is going to be moderate. It will not be difficult, all three sections. Section three can be a little lengthy, but again, the topic and the type of questions, they are going to be fine. In gender training reading, in section one, the most important question type, that is, which paragraph contains the following information? Short answer question, 
and true false not given again i tell you short answer question which paragraph contains the following information and true false not given these three questions are very very important for general training reading uh, section 1 and section 2 as far as section 3 is concerned for general training reading for section 3 number one and the most important type of questions that is uh, uh, that is basically a list of headings with list of headings there can be uh, multiple choice and along with multiple choice there can be summary completion or matching these questions are going to be quite important for 21st march 2020 ielts exam right so far so good now let's talk about writing first of all i would like to talk about academic writing task one in the last test somewhere there was a map as well so they gave map in the last exam this time chances are 80 percent chances are for graphic information and that graphic information can be graphed with the trend means they will give you a time period and over that you got to see or it can be a comparative graph where they will give you the data of one year and you just have to uh, elaborate on that okay so graphic information is more important 80 percent chances are for graphic information and there is slight chance of uh, what do you say that uh, diagram because you know in the last test they gave maps so maps and diagrams they often go together you need to prepare for diagram as well process diagram now as far as, as, far as writing task one gender training is concerned you know guys we've got only two type of letters formal or informal this time the way i'm looking at it there's going to be formal letter i mean according to my understanding there is going to be a formal letter so you guys must prepare formal letters formal language uh, organization of formal letter how to write formal letter all these things must be prepared very very well because chances are for formal letter as far as writing task two is concerned let me tell you last time somewhere it was advantages disadvantages somewhere it was opinion essay but this time and i have noticed usually when there is academic and gender training test together they usually give opinion or discussion essay so guys 70 percent chances are for opinion essay or discussion essay if in opinion essay they say discuss both views and give your opinion then you must write three paragraphs in the body Discuss one opinion, introduction, discuss one opinion, discuss other opinion, give your opinion and conclusion. And if they write discuss both views and they don't mention give your opinion, then you write four paragraphs like introduction, discuss one view, discuss other view and in conclusion you can give your opinion. And if it is opinion essay, you know already how to write opinion essay. So, 70% chances are for opinion or discussion essay, but do not ignore uh, a double question essay, problem solution essay, as well as advantages, disadvantages essay, because you know, IELTS is conducted all over the world. So there is a huge variety in IELTS exam and all that. So guys, that's all. I mean, this is just my prediction. And again, I'm telling you at certain locations, they have already canceled IELTS test in Pakistan on 21st. They are not conducting IELTS test because government has banned all the social gatherings, all the educational gatherings, all the conferences, even my own classes are off. I mean, I'm not giving any classes. I'm only giving online classes. So guys, that's all. I truly wish you all the best. And once you take your exam, you must report me. How did they conduct the test due to coronavirus? If there were some new things, if there were some new developments, okay? So you must inform me about that. And you have to send me your review video about 21st March IELTS exam. I'll be waiting for your detailed review message. That's all guys. Thank you very much indeed. May Allah protect us. May God protect us from this coronavirus, from this thing. And uh, may you always be protected under the shelter, under the umbrella of God Almighty. And may all the blessings be showered upon you. Asad Yaqub truly wishes you all the best and I also teach IELTS online. If you guys are interested because now uh, campuses are closed, you cannot go to any campus for IELTS preparation. So if you are interested in online classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Once again, all the best guys. 
don't worry don't uh, be don't be uh, upset uh, because of the corona thing and all that just focus your studies inshallah in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months this thing is going to be over and then once again all of us will rise and shine all the best take good care of yourselves allah hafiz